Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and you are watching tip number one in a series of quick tips and tricks to use to save time and money during homecoming season. And the very first tip that I have for you is buy one set of a specific shape backer. This is a three pack of hearts. This was $1.59. There's three of those in here. Immediately take one of these, trace it out on a piece of uh, cardboard, a piece of, you know, a pizza box, trace it out on something. Write original. After you trace it out, cut it out, write original, write template on there. And then on that template, you write what size flowers that you need. Okay, go ahead and draw where these holes go as well. That way, when you have to use that template on dollar store poster board to cut that shape out, you know where these holes need to be and you know what size flowers you need for that backer. I have several that I've had for years. I bought one and I traced it. Do the same thing with your circle backers. And you could get crafty and go get some uh, of the cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack and make your own templates. I did that on a video. I'll try to link that in the description. But all you do is trace them out write the size on there, put them on a book ring, and you will never not have the size backer that you need. These are three inch, four inch, six inch, and then the double. I will eventually do the heart and, and everything. Anything else that'll fit on that chopping mat, I'll do that. So I'll definitely have those templates. Okay, the second part of this tip is also about backers. So when you have a large, see, I haven't used this. When you have a large backer and you need to get to the middle, your stapler's not gonna reach. I have a long reach stapler, y'all. Most of the time it's not an issue. I do this anyway. I used to do it to save money. You can't get all the way in to staple for your skirt. I'm not talking about the mum head. I'm talking about for your skirt. So what I do, first I make sure I have a template. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it in half. All the way across. I'm gonna punch a hole for hanging because I like to hang mine up while I'm working on them. Now, I can get all the way down this way to hang my ribbons. Make sure you have another one of these. I'm just saying. Anyway, keep a template for all of your backers. And when you make the skirt, cut it in half if it's large. If you cannot reach, make it easy on yourself to where you can get the stapler all the way down to get those hard to reach ribbons. All right, y'all. That was tip number one and one and a half. Stay tuned for tip number two. If you're not subscribed, please, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. I'll see you soon. Bye.